everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April favorites. It's my first time doing a favorites video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that I want to share is the Can Make Marshmallow Finish Powder. I have two with. Let me show you. I got one back in Japan. So I've tried it and see, it already hit the pan. I quickly went and bought like the second one. But unfortunately, I bought the wrong shade. I think this is like one shade lighter than this one. At first when I used it, it looks darker. But now that I'm getting used to it, so it looks fine. This one really mattifies your face. That's what I really really like because I get really oily on the T-zone. Some powder when you put it on, it looks cakey. But this one, it just like blends in your skin, blur out your pores. I used to like the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. But after I use this, it's like the best thing ever because it mattifies your face like the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder does. And it provides a tad bit of coverage. There's like a bit of color on it. You use your brush and you just like brush on your face and it's like smooth. Like some powder that I use, when you use a brush and brush on your face, it's like it will like stop, stop, stop because it doesn't mattify your face, so it doesn't give you the smooth canvas. The second thing I like is this um, mascara by Miss Teen. It's actually a Thailand brand, so I was just like going through her stuff I usually do. Looking at this, I'm like, Ma, what is this? She's like, Oh, it's just a mascara I bought from Thailand and it's really good. Her friend recommended to her, so I gave it a try. And it was so good. Full review on this mascara coming soon. I think it should be the next video. But it's so good. I tell you, I have oily lids and this doesn't smudge all day and it gives you that length you need. So on the other hand, there's one mascara that I really don't like which is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Tried it a few times in store and I love the formula of the mascara And but I don't know why the moment I bought this mascara, it didn't work for me anymore. So when I tried it in store, it lengthens my, my lashes. It gives me like, it doesn't smudge whole day. So like it's just like very nice to wear the entire day and it gives you the length that you need. Like it just volumized and lengthened your lashes. So I really like this so I went on to purchase but once I purchase, it just doesn't stay. Maybe I'll just like put it on at 7 a.m. when I reach office by 8. I already can see like, you know, like how mascara sponges and the black area. And you thought like maybe you wipe once it's like enough, it's like smudge enough for the day. It doesn't stop there. So throughout the day, I keep on to do this. Like I just keep on doing it because it's really not nice. And when you remove it, it's not that easy to remove as well because you know like how it smudges. So when I remove it, it stays a bit like on the lashes or in the inner eye there. Sometimes if you like do this, like squeeze your eyes very hard, it will just like go down. So you will look extra extra dark that day. So the third thing that I want to share is this decoer decoer hair perfume treatment. It's supposed to tame your fizzy hair. I've been really loving this product because I have crazy hair. Like, as you can see now, it's busy, it's very hard to tidy up. So when I got this, it really changes my hair routine. Like, I already need this. I don't need the hair protectant water or treatment. I don't need my hair oil anymore. Sometimes I can even go without my condition. I've, let me show you a bit now. But I'm actually, I'm going to sleep soon. So, you just like spray it on. Then, you just like massage a bit. It's actually a hair oil, but they made it to a very fine mist so that it, it, your hair just absorb it immediately. See like the difference? I know this side looks a bit more volume than this one, but it, this side definitely look more like smooth, right? Like I don't have like messy like out of control hair and it's like, it's like see all the fly down. Big shout out to this. It really changes my life. Yeah, I've been on the search for quite a long time actually. So this is really good. This is like the beauty stuff of this month. So next up, I'm gonna share like my favorite drink, which is Double Bar. So that week, I was fortunate that I tried all three together. I tried the Ellie, the Double Bar, I sing full time. Oh, it was my first try. So I tried one, all three in one week. I have to say my favorite is Double Bar. Double Bar has the top, it's a cheese foam, but it's not too cheesy. It feels like salted milk. Well, after that, they have the fresh milk, then um, they use roasted brown sugar if I'm not mistaken. Black sugar or brown sugar. So nothing is like overpowering each other. Foam is just nice. I mean the cheese is just nice. The fresh milk is just nice. Nice the black sugar is just nice. For Sing Fu Tang, I know a lot of people like it but 
the pearls a bit too soft for me and I didn't quite like the taste of the drink but you know drinks are very personal everyone has their own preference so for me it's definitely the boba if you haven't tried it I highly recommend you to try it oh my god speaking of it I'm actually like craving for it now and now it's like what almost 10 p.m. no Hopefully I can survive through the crave If not, I'm just gonna go get it tomorrow The bubble bar is first on my list Among all the bubble teas that I've tried um, last month Do suggest that you go on the weekday And on the non-tea time Cause you will be amazed on how long the queue is I had to queue for 1 hour for the bubble bar at SS15 On the Saturday, I think 3 or 4pm So yeah, if you want to try out new drinks But you don't want to queue so long You can yeah, go on the weekday Okay, one of my favourite drama in April Was Romance is a Bonus Book It's a drama on Netflix I really enjoy it I think mainly it's because the the male cast is like so handsome to me It's Lee Jong Sook I just find him very handsome What I like about this drama Apart from the cast It's the storyline I really like how they bring out How hard it is to make a book Like from writing a book I mean writing a book is definitely the hardest But you know it, it doesn't end there So like after you write I mean the author write a book So you have to find a publisher that actually publish Or maybe a publisher would find a writer that would like write something and sometimes if the writer bail out, the producer have to like find the author and like, you know, like uh, encourage them to continue writing and just like push them a bit to write and finish it on the deadline. Then after you get the whole thing, like you just get like a book like that, right? This is like the script. So you have to market the book, you have to design the book, and you have to send for printing and like distribute to the bookstore and like do some more marketing. For one book to sell well, the author of course is the most important part because an uh, author needs to produce a good book for it to sell good. Actually a lot of effort used in producing one book It really changed my mind using a book like, I used to feel like, you know, books are so expensive Effort putting inside is actually priceless According to the drama, do you know what happens if the book doesn't sell well in bookstore? They cannot donate it to the charitable organization So they actually have to shred every single book that was written back to them But even if it's damaged or if it is brand new, like they just have to shred it And they only get like a very small amount of money from that block of shredded paper This drama really made me feel like I want to read more books and everyone has a very different feeling of reading a book like this book may be attractive to you like this book changed your life but it doesn't really mean that every single book that changes other people's life cha will change your life search for the right book you like to read I can't, I can't recall how many favorite certain have I said but this is the next one which is this honor band um, I bought it I think last month So I've been wearing it since then It's actually a sports band I really liked about this is You don't have to charge it every day And you can track your sleep, track your steps When I can track my steps that just make me want to walk more Like I have target of 4,000, 5,000 steps a day Like looking at the band just make me feel like I want to walk more And this one I don't have to remove it Because it's water resistant so I can wear it in the shower I can just wear it anywhere Wear it to sleep Hardly ever taken this down from my wrist Which is really convenient for lazy people like me I tend to like just take down and put somewhere that I forget where I put it So this always stay with me So I really like like this thing Let's talk about some highlights of this one This one I watched Avengers The end game I haven't seen for like 3 events up till now It's actually quite exciting The first time I did it I just read from my script Like the first time I had to MC an event I really I had a script I read line by line Then the second time it got a little bit better I stopped looking at my script I mean I just referred it once a, a few lines And the third one I did it without a script It was a last minute thing I really liked it I, I like how I'm able to stand in front of the crowd and talk to them and get their attention it just felt really nice for people to look at you and remembers your name so i guess that's the end for my april favorites video i hope you enjoy all these items and do let me know what i should try out next or like what is on your favorite so i can know so i can try i'm a person that likes to try new stuff thank you for watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one see ya